<laughs> hello, goodbye, and hello again. And uh, today we're playing Shadow Fear, Path to Insanity. And uh, this this game, the code was sent to me by the developer, so thank you to Wathit Do Records. Hopefully, I said that right. Uh, and all right, yeah, th thank you for being the first company to send me a code for a game to play on my channel. All right, let's begin. Uh, let's check the configure the game. Okay, that's all. That's all fine. Enter the game or enter the horror. Select difficulty mode. In survival mode, enemies deal five more damage. There is less hidden medkit. Chests are not affected, and you need to find USB keys to save your progress. Golden coin hints are deactivated too. I think we'll go with normal mode. Alrighty. Mommy? Mommy? Is that you? Mommy? Why you left me alone? Mommy? Please, come back. Don't leave me. Someone is in the room. Mommy? Okay. On a stormy night, a young journalist decided to investigate a rumor that an old house in the mountains would be the host of numerous disappearances. A little before his departure for the mountain, the same young man receives a call from his niece mentioning that his sister, who is also a journalist, is in danger and would have left for the mountain the day before. The journalist, in panic, takes his camera, his bag, and go, go take his niece to a relative and immediately drives his car to the mountain. An endless night is about to get up. Your mission to find your sister and survive this night. A few tiny grammatical errors in there, but nothing too serious. We got the idea. Conveyed the message it intended to. Shadow fear, path to insanity. Dimension. I'm coming for you. He's coming for you. Or I'm coming for you. Okay. How to find a quick. Okay. To move, use WASD or the joystick to open the menu. Press X on your keyboard or B. Uh, I might actually plug in a controller for this. So, uh, or press B or O on your controller. Let's open the menu. Okay, to do a 180, press C on your keyboard or RB. All right, or R1. Uh, show the map. It's gonna be X. Close it with the action button or A. Okay. All right. Alrighty. I can't leave without my sister. Can't leave. Okay. So there's no. 
can't get in the trunk. Okay, just checking. Just making sure. Okay. You don't have the map. This is my menu. Items. Okay, medkits restore 25 HP. Large medkits restore everything and cure poison and bleeding. Anti poison cures poison. Bandage cures bleeding. Stimulant recovers HP every one second for 30 seconds. Oh, okay. Alright. That's fine. So do I have, does that mean I have one of each of these? I'm not going to click it just in case. And that's to turn around. Okay, that also works. So L, L and... I'm not going to, um, uh, you know. What does that that truck do here? Mm, resist the urge, Tom. Resist the urge. Um, I saw a grave somewhere. Ah, stuck in the tree. Okay. Well, not stuck. I just, you know. It's hard to tell where you can and can't walk because it's it's the forest. That's not it's not a problem. It's just it's how forests work. There's a seven-digit numpad on that tombstone. Okay, try to enter a code. Uh, no, I don't know what it is yet. Hmm. We will have to try to remember to come back here later. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, um, because this is made in, in Smile Game Builder, it's kind of made with, um, I mean, it's not, it's not pure, you can see that it's not purely, uh, tile-based in the sense that you can, you're not moved to, moving, like, you know, left, right, up, down. There's some other movement involved. Uh, I, I'm making a game in this engine as well. Um, and, uh, mine's not first person, though, it's, it's gonna be third person. Okay. I guess that was, uh, that looked like I was going to fall into the abyss, but I guess that was just the next area. No, no, no details on the lamp. Um, just keeping my eye out for secrets, because if I, if I wasn't careful, I would have missed that tombstone. Okay, that's another area blood on the ground. There's blood on the grass. Blood? Where could that lead? Okay. No description on that one. No description on that one. Tree stomp? No. I mean, I assume it's headed over here. Yeah. It looks like there's something by your feet. You found a key. Common keys are used to unlock doors in many cases. Can also be used for certain chests. Cool. Alright. I mean, I can tell that a lot of effort was put into this. This wasn't just, like, slapped together with, you know, purely default assets or anything. Like a lot of games are. Okay, I thought that was another blood puddle for a second there. I'll hold off on going into the house until I've had a look over here. It's too dark in the forest. A lantern could help. Ah. So it's, uh... It's pitch dark. I am likely to be eaten by a Gru. Into the house. I used the key. What a mansion! Chapter 1, The Mansion.
Oh, something's getting my attention over here. That looks like a save spot. You can use a laptop to save your progress throughout the game. If you are playing the survival mode, you'll need USB keys to save. Okay, so it's the whole ink ribbon system. I get it. Well, luckily, I'm not playing in survival mode at the moment. Saved. Okay. I, I may I may come back at some point and do the, the other mode as a second playthrough, but let's worry about this playthrough first. Dr. Walsheen Mansion, a refuge, a refuge for all dying people. Ah, there's a, a spray can. I guess it's a spray can. Okay, same thing as before. There's graffiti spelling lie on the statue. Oh yeah, there is. Okay. Oh, that's just a blown out socket, I see. No descriptions on those. Okay, so I'm just ruling out that uh, light switches are an interactable thing or not. There's a newspaper on the ground. Disappearances in the mountain. Numerous disappearances took place in the neighborhood of Mont Lencor. Several witnesses say they have seen some rodents in the surrounding areas of disappearance. We suspect the firm Quantum We suspect the firm Quantum Lab to have link with the events. The police are waiting for a court warrant before going to their laboratory in the city center. If you want to have the best fried chicken, come to Uncle Murray Barbecue, the best barbecue in town. Need a Bitcoin bank account? Come to Lincoln Bank now. 0. 0.0005 Bitcoin as a gift for all new users. Okay. Okay, med kit. Good. Now that I have that, let me... No, not the map. There we go. Items. Okay, good. It does show up on the right how many I have. Okay. So I can't accidentally, like, you know, use something that I'm, I'm not trying to use. There's something on this shelf. Found a golden coin. One of 50. Cool. There's nothing hidden inside of it. Okay, so that's a collectible. That's one of the things that I need to be, uh... On the lookout for, I have been challenged by the developer to find everything. Which means this is probably going to be a multi-part series. Okay. I don't know how long the game is. I'll figure that out. Ah. Drinking me some tea as I go along. I checked it out, but nothing appears out of the ordinary. Dead person. Oh, uh, 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 can't. Okay. Uh, there's no run button, I guess. Let me flee for now. Yeah, there was, as far as I know, no way for me to avoid it taking damage in that situation. Um, is there another, is there a key on here? Oh, okay. So these are, uh, that's a lot of chapters. Knife, first key, ten coins, a lot of coins, all coins, adrenaline, 50 kills, 100 kills, okay, all documents, jackpot, infinite ammo. I see, I see, okay. So this is kind of the, the collection board, you know, the list of all the things that I have accomplished. Oh good, my health restored. Good, so health restores over time. Good to know. I will be making avid use of that. I am going to actually continue down this road. I know you're there. Um, what's this? It looks like there's a note on the ground. Do I have really time to have be reading this? Dr. Walshy, your manor has supposed to be- oh, it's paused. Okay, good. I'll take my time then. D um, dear Dr. Walshy, your manor was supposed to be a safe heaven for people in terminal phase, but all the patients and you never give us news. Please hope that they died in a natural way. Please contact us as soon as possible. And I'm going to aim this way so that I can move in the right direction as soon as I leave the, the note. Alright. I checked it out, but nothing appears out of the ordinary. The door is locked. There is a ma there is a mansion engraved on the knob. Alright, just gonna sneak past you here. Yeah, okay. Alright, um... Okay! Uh... Yeah, I don't have a weapon, so... Not an ideal scenario here for me. 
hopefully there's not another zombie in- Oh, there is! Of course. Of course. Um, and he's probably going to spawn back where he spawned the first time, which means that- Oh! Uh, actually, I could just wait here and refill my HP, which is exactly what I'm going to do, because otherwise I'm cornered and dead. The door is locked. There's a mansion engraved on the knob. Yep. I, uh, I may or may not, uh, cut out some parts of the healing process here. I mean, I don't, I don't probably need full health for this guy, but, uh, Where's that's the probably good. Yep. Gotta find me a gun or a knife or something. I always try to clear the first floor before moving on to the second. Oh, it's locked. Well, guess we're going upstairs after all. Suppose I could have saved. Just making sure there's nothing dead up here. Key items. Keys. Uh, key items can be everywhere. You have to inspect every little uh, suspect element in order to be able to solve puzzles and progress in the game. Also helps to look out for the exclamation marks. This jar could be- could help to carry something. Yeah, I'm just gonna shove this whole jar into my pocket. You took the jar. Somebody in this mansion sure loved graveyards and nooses to be putting all these paintings up. Eh, it fits the October theme. I checked it out, but nothing appears but to be out of the ordinary. Just checking. Checked it out, but nothing appears to be out of the ordinary. Did I actually use my eyeballs to look at that one? Okay, because there might be a coin hidden somewhere that may or may not trigger without me having to look specifically at it. The door is locked from the other side. This is making good use of some of the items from the, uh, the, the Modern City uh, asset pack. And again, there's nothing wrong with using assets, I mean, you know. There, it's, it's all on how you use stuff. There's nothing hidden in this plant, which means I've got to check all of the plants. Here we go. There's nothing hidden in this plant. My OCD is going to go off the, the rails for this. I don't need to read the description every time, though. I just need to obsessively check all of the plants. Okay, one more. We're good. I'm probably not going to examine too many plants when I'm running from my life from zombies, but, you know... Door is locked from the other side. Um, if I run into trouble, I will double back and save. Door is locked from the other side. I'm trying to do a similar voice to the one the the actual voice actor did, as best I can. Um, there's nothing hidden in this plant. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 okay. That centers. So pressing the right stick centers the camera that in mind. Oh, there's something hidden in here. It's a band-aid. Good. Door's locked. There is Amwari engraved on the knob. Is that supposed to be... I guess it's supposed to be armory? Okay. Wait, was that all that was in this room? It was just that... Okay, yeah, it was hallway. Boo. Let's check this door. Oh, right, it was locked from the other side. I'm pretty sure I already checked this door, which means we're gonna have to, like... Maybe I missed something in the environment. What do I have in my inventory? Certainly don't have a map in my inventory. Uh, one med kit, one band-aid. Oh, and there's an equip screen. I don't have any weapons. Key items. Lands the face. What can I use a face for at the moment? Nothing really comes to mind. Uh, obviously that'll be useful later. Let's save again. Yeah, that's fine. Whew. Yeah, I, I when I first started trying to play this, I had a you know technical issue that's making the sound not work on on my end, but that was you know because I didn't have my headphones plugged in at the time. That was a complete brain fart on my part. Excuse me, coming through. Yes, yes, I know. 
door is locked. There's oh. I need it. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, and I'm bleeding too. Excuse me. Looks like there's something by your feet. Please be a knife or a weapon. It's a key. All right, we're going back out here then. Move it. Hey, come on, buddy. Don't be like that. That's not necessary. Go through here so I have time to uh, cover a little bit of HP. Or am I... Okay, bleeding seems to just be slowing me down. Slowing down my health for game. Uh... I'll hold off on using my medical supplies. No, that's not... I'm pressing the wrong things here. Okay, so I have one key. Right, right, right. Um, will that work on this door? I'm assuming that's a generic key and not a specific key. Hmm. Check this plant. Um. Oh, okay, that was a cutscene. All right, I couldn't move for a second there. There's nothing hidden to this plant. Bookshelf. 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 Glowing plant! There's something hidden in that plant. Okay. I should search. I should search every plants. They seem to sometime have items hidden inside them. I checked it out, but nothing appears out of the ordinary. Uh, I'm, I'm really curious as to, um, like, what the, the, uh, original language of this developer is. Just to know if, if, um, like, what, what the, the grammatical errors of, I know I said I was going, not going to mention it, but, you know, it's, it's, there's a lot of it. Okay, I'm going to actually duck back through this door so that I don't die. Hmm. Through here, I missed a plant. Let me go ahead and make sure I check that plant. I'm not 100% sure I checked this. Okay, we're good. Plant check complete. Oh, there's another plant. Really need a weapon before I can spend two. Oh, is that just... What's this shadow? What's causing that? Is that a trap? Is that something going to fall down and kill me? No? Is that, in fact, the shadow from the lamp above me? I'm, I'm going to say yes, most likely. Checked it out, but nothing out of the ordinary. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely saying this out of, you know, concern for the success of the project. Like, I'd like to see this get the attention it, it, it deserves, because they, they've done, they've definitely done some things right, and they're the first person to use this engine that I've seen to do this sort of game, an actual survival horror game. Oh, one. This is one of those, one of the numbers. I should be paying attention to the paintings, too, then, huh? Because there was that gravestone. All right, so one of the numbers is one. Let me, in fact, write that down. All right, one. There we go. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I want this to succeed. I want you to succeed, dude. Uh, I'm just worried that people are going to kind of tear this apart because of the grammar. There seems to be something in the fire. If I could only find a way to carry water here. Ah, that's what the, the pot is for. All right. There's something on this bookshelf. Oh, it's a key. I mean, a coin. Good. I got another one. Okay. Nothing here. There's a map on that bookshelf. Ah, you found a mansion map for one. That helps. Let me go ahead and have a look at that. Here's where I am. Okay. So that's the bed. I mean, this we're in the living room. All right. That's the bedroom, office, backyard, the hall. Okay. I will keep that in mind. There's nothing special with this TV. I mean, you know, um, 
you know, I'm sure you could find somebody in the Smile Game Builder community to uh, do a complete uh, grammar check on. I mean, I, I know the game's about to come out, so it's kind of too late for that probably, but maybe you could patch it later. Uh, someone in the Smile Game Builder community on the Discord, very helpful, the Discord. I've, I've gotten a lot of help from those people so far, and I've, I've really just begun. Um, but they would they would probably be happy to help you double check the grammar in the game. You know that you can have one of them look at your uh, files in 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 SGB, and uh, you know just like have a look at the the script. Just saying, you don't gotta do it. You don't gotta you know take my advice or whatever. I I, I respect your your right to keep things as they are. I'm just throwing it out there. Trying to, you know, be neighborly, right? Because it's a small community of English speakers, at least. Mostly, like, I forget if it's Japanese or Chinese. It looks like there's a note. I don't know if I'm going to survive this night, but what I'm totally sure is that these crazy monster things are not going to kill me. I have to find a way out of here, says Catherine. Okie dokie. This looks locked. It's locked. There's nothing hidden in this plant. Yeah, I see you over there, bear. There's nothing inside this plant. This bear, this bear talks in the, um, like the tutorial game that teaches you how to use the engine. Let me see if this one talks. This stuffed toy looks suspect. Do you want to cut it open? Aw, I guess. You don't have anything to cut it open. I can't just tear it apart with my bare hands. There's nothing under the bed. All right, so I need, I guess, a knife. Like it said knife on the, the item board, right? So I guess I need the knife for that. Bleeding doesn't seem to be doing anything other than slowing my health recovery, which is good. Because I don't have much to um, heal up with or defend myself with at the moment. So I can just leave that bleeding alone. Where's that key? Where's that key? Already got this one. Just checking. Alright. Uh, just check my key items. Still have the face. I need to find a water source. Wasn't there a bathtub? Didn't I um, encounter a zombie in a bathtub? Not this door. Maybe I can use the sink or the bathtub on my... Um, my pot in order to fill it up with water. We shall see. Oh, it would be pretty funny if you could like run around outside in an area in a game and uh, like something in your inventory would fill with water because it's raining. I might keep that in mind sometime. This is in the bathroom. Uh, the bathroom, I guess, was the first area that I saw, like, a female zombie. Was she blonde? I think I remember a blonde female zombie. Was that upstairs? I'm pretty sure that was upstairs. Maybe. We're gonna find out. This door was locked, right? Yeah, it's, it's locked from the other side. Oh, the, the map I have is only for the first floor. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use that downstairs and navigate to the bathroom that way instead of walking around blindly like I tend to do in these games. Uh, the office, the dining room, the bedroom. So it was definitely... Okay, so it's through this door and then past the zombie. Let me go ahead and save. Alrighty. Almost out of tea already. I should have made a whole pot. So, that's the bathroom door. I'm going to go right past you. No, I'm stuck. Okay. Can I just... Yeah, there we go. Problem is, now I'm going to have to deal with her. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of my health items. I'm going to go ahead and use one of my health items. Um... Med kit. Alright. Bathtub. There's nothing inside it. 
The water is still flowing. Good, can I fill up my pot? Yes, thank you. Logical puzzle, good. Checks out. You know, I have a jar of water. There's something inside the toilet. Ah, eh, she's not really blonde. She's more of a redhead or brunette. I'm colorblind. Oh, adrenaline, cool. Ah, every time, okay. Well, that first aid kit at least let us, um, you know, get get that pot filled up with water. Which means it's time to save here. Sure wish I remembered whether um, it was bandages or first aid kits that heal bleeding. If I had to guess, I'd say first aid kits. And I do have to guess, so I'll say first aid kits. Through here. That's the wrong way. Look at the map, Tom. Okay, so where I'm going is the dining room, I believe, had the fireplace. But yeah, so far, I mean, this is this is very functionally, you know, sufficient. Like it 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 works so far. I haven't gotten to test out the uh, combat system yet, but you know, there there seems to be something in the fire. Use the jar of water in the fire. Yes. Ah, there's a key in the fireplace. Puzzle keys are used to open all locks related to a puzzle such as drawer, weapon holder, secret locks, or in some cases, chests. And that one is... Uh, no. Hold on. That one is... So this is more of a checklist than a, uh... I mean, like, you can see there it's got both the empty vase and the vase with water. That's not what I was, um, curious about. No, I just want to know what the... I can't really see what's on the key. Uh, I wasn't really told specifically what that key is for, or what's on the key, and I cannot tell from the little logo up there, and it went by too fast before. Um, no biggie, I guess. I'm just gonna try it on everything. There we go! Got it on the first try. Knife! Knife get! Oh yeah! Um, you how you now have a weapon to attack, hold space, or A. Hold A, okay. Uh, when touching an undead, remember to always press and hold the button as long as you want to damage the- Dimage? Dimage? The undead. This icon means you're going to attack. You have one on three chance to evade any attack. Okay, that's, um... You can now defend yourself and show the zombies who's the boss. I can also murder this poor defenseless bear. Yep. Eh. You use your knife to cut it open. You pressed a hidden switch inside the stuffed toy. Cool. What did that do? Alright. So I was expecting it to be like... You'd press, like, the trigger buttons and it would, uh, attack, but I guess it's kind of... I guess, like, kind of, like, the vibe I'm getting is kind of a, a, a first-person, uh, uh, equivalent to the, the Ease series, or Wise, however you want to say that. I think it's Ease. Uh, YS, that, that series where you, you know, you bump into enemies to attack them instead of, like... Well, I think, I think in some of the... Whoa! Okay, I'm pressing the button, right? There we go. All right. That was a zombie dog bursting through the window, as is as is the tradition, I suppose. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use an item. All right, there we. Okay, so that got rid of the bleeding, right? I'm gonna go back and save now that I got this knife. Yeah, all right, come on. 
Oh boy. Uh, items. Med kit, I guess. Oops. Press the wrong button. So, um, is there an advantage to dodging manually, like getting out of the way, or am I equally likely to uh, succeed if I just stand in front of the enemy and attack? I suppose I should probably test that out and find out. I'm really hoping it's not just kind of like luck of the draw. I, well, okay, dodging dodging has to be useful because... Use the second save slot. Dodging has to be useful because... Um, uh, you can recover health as you, as you move. So that answers that question right off the bat. I assume in some places it's, it's going to be, you know, just... Irrelevant, I guess, whether you you move or not. No, that seems like I'm. Uh, nah, nah, well, whatever. I'll just wing it. There's nothing inside of it. Check the plant. There's nothing. Nothing there. Nothing in the box. Seems to be something in this box. Open the box. Why wouldn't I? Use your knife to cut the box open. You found the mansion key. You obtain the first major key of the game. There's a window up on the, open on the computer. It seems that you need a code to open the file. Okay. So maybe that's, uh... Well, okay, well, I mean... Maybe it's because I haven't seen all of them yet, but I assume that's not the code that was written on the painting? Turn footstop sound effects off? No, that's fine. There's nothing hidden in the plant. There's nothing useful in these boxes. It's locked. There's a skull on the drawer. There sure is. So yeah, I mean, this is made in an engine that uh, was originally designed for... I mean, the most basic thing you can make in it is a turn-based RPG. A turn-based, tile-based RPG. So, like, some things you know, like, are, are designed to be examined from the front, like bookshelves, like, you know, okay, in, in this case, you can, you can actually examine these from the side, but some stuff you have to be facing the right direction for it to work. Uh, I got a key, there's a mansion key, I believe that might be for upstairs. I'll just open some doors and fight some Zed as I go, I guess. Now that I have my knife. I don't know if enemies respawn. I guess we'll find out when I uh, have to go through that, that hallway. After I kill the zombie in that hallway, we'll find out. Alright, locked from the other side. Thinking this is it? Keep an eye on paintings. Uh, no, that's the armoire. That's right. Is that like... No, I don't... Never mind, I don't have this map. I'm so dehydrated today. Door's locked from the other side. I almost got to go to a haunted bar yesterday, but it was closed. It was closed the day before that. Um, I'm thinking, like, since it changed hands, it's it's under renovations or something, but it's haunted, and it's old. It's an old-timey, you know, haunted saloon, which is just awesome, because that's right up my alley. That's exactly where I would have a beer. I'm not, like, feeling the whole beer thing anymore, honestly, but, um, you know, if I'm gonna have a beer out in public, it might as well be someplace cool like that, right? 